Hello and welcome to today's video where I will cover the two game two series that occurred in the LPL this morning as we started week two of day one. If you didn't catch my LPL power ranking video, it is out now. Um, it is in the process of processing at the moment and because uh, I edited it when I uploaded it. So it's up and uh, if you would like to check that out, I would enjoy that, I guess. Um, the first series was between Thunder Talk and RNG. RNG would win this series 2-0. Thunder Talk came out, and actually their bot lane, I believe, outplayed the RNG bot lane in this entire series, despite it being 2-0. Um, TL would get a kill in bot at 8 minutes. I mean, not TL, but TT. Um, RNG would take the Rift Herald afterwards. And Thunder Talk still would get another kill in bot lane. So they had multiple kills in the first game in bot to get out to an early lead, which they then turned into an infernal. New solo killed Bin at 11 minutes. New played very well in game one. He uh, Bin's been a disappointment so far this split through three games, to be honest with you. Despite them winning games, I think he uh, has been giving them some you know, lackluster performances. By 15 minutes, Thunder Talk were up 4-0 and 1k gold. They would then go up to 6-0 by getting a 2-0 in mid. However, next, um, RNG would take the Chemtech Drake to prevent TT from going to Soul Point because they had a Mountain and an Infernal. There were many Drakes taken. As you can see, all the green there, there were many Chemtech Drakes taken. Um, by 20 minutes after the fight afterwards where Thunder Talk answered, RNG taking the Soul Point. Um, in which case, Zhao Hao had a double kill for RNG. They lost the fight, but Zhao Hao's double kill was a key moment in the game because it put him online. He was the MVP of this series. He showed up in both games. And um, this is when the Vex started really motoring on. 20 minutes, Thunder Talk were up 9-3. 3.5k gold, and Captain was 3-0-2 for um, Thunder Talk. However... Thunder Talk then would go to Soul Point. Um, R that this is when Thunder Talk started making mistakes. RNG allowed, I mean Thunder Talk allowed RNG back in the game by getting caught out a few times. In which case RNG then would take a Chemtech Drake and go to Soul Point because Thunder Talk started backing off because they were allowing RNG back in the game. They wanted to play it safe, and it didn't make a difference because in the end they end up losing. RNG would take the Baron at 35 minutes with a 4-2 teamfight win. Zhao Hao with a double kill. However, this Baron would not be fruitful for them. How The only thing that it did provide them was an opportunity to get prepared to take the um, Chemtech Soul, which they did in a 1-1 one -one contested fight. Um, Thunder Talk now were up at uh, 40 minutes. They were up 14-13. to 13. But our, the gold was tied, and Zhao Hao was 9-4-7 and seven on Vex. So he was just the only person really doing anything in this game for either team at this point. And the gold was tied, so all it was was one fight after that. I mean, so Zhao Hao ended up getting a pickoff play at 42 minutes to be able to take the Baron, and that was all the power they needed to be able to get some push in mid lane to win in the final fight. The final score was 17-14. to 14. Um, RNG would then start game four, game two by ganking mid at four minutes. TT would then respond with a 2v2 kill and bot again on their own. That bot lane was doing very well. Puff looked good. Um, RNG would ensure that they had the early drakes and made sure that drakes were a priority in this game. They took the first three before 20 minutes. Um... By 11 minutes, uh, there was an outplay by RNG on a dive attempt by Thunder Talk, and the team started going back and forth, back and forth. Um, top lane was a, was a priority for both teams. At um, 16 minutes, Thunder Talk would make a play in mid, 2-0, to be able to pull closer to RNG. At 20 minutes, uh, Thunder Talk were actually up in kills again, um, despite struggling in gold. New was 2-0-2 at the time, and, <coughs> excuse me, and was uh, the carry for them. Just like he had done very well in game one, New showed up for Thunder Talk in both games as well, which was a nice change because 
he didn't he, in the first three series. I thought he was one of their weak spots. Um, in 21 minutes, he would actually solo kill Zhao Hao. Uh, RNG would then take the Cloud Soul at 24 minutes, which then turned into a Baron at 25 minutes, which puts which made their gold lead four and a half k at the time, and just grew after that. By 28 minutes, their gold lead was now <coughs> excuse me seven and a half k. Zhao Hao was four one and two on the uh, Lucian, very different than the Vex. Obviously, he was showing his champion pool in this. The final fight happened at 30 minutes for Elder. Thunder Talk actually won that fight. However, RNG would try and backdoor, and they exposed the Nexus. Puff had a double kill to prevent RNG from ending at that moment, but a couple minutes later, RNG would just get enough push in mid lane once again to be able to send somebody towards the um, Nexus to end. So it was really contested at the end, the Nexus. I mean, they thought the game was over before it actually was by a couple seconds. Nevertheless, Zhao Hao was the MVP. Like I said, he showed up in both games. Um, series 2 was between Anyone's Legend and Fun Plus Phoenix. Um, this was also close, as you can see, 10-7 and 9-8. So, um, at 6 minutes, Anyone's Legend would start off by, um, gang by picking off the FPX jungler. FPX would then take a Hextech Drake. And then by 10 minutes, they were up. Zhao Halu and um, Zhao Halu, who was the MVP of this series, in my opinion, and LWX had massive advantages in lane, which was the reason why they won because they built a gold lead despite being down in kills. FPX emphasized Drakes through the first 20 minutes by getting to Soul Point, um, and anyone's legends were saying, "Okay, well, if you're going to do that, we're going to try and create pressure," but they couldn't um, create enough pressure to keep Fun Plus Phoenix from farming. By 20 minutes, Fun Plus Phoenix was up 4k despite being down in um, kills. 23 minutes, uh, Anyone's Legend prevented the Infernal Soul after a 2-2 two -two team fight tie in mid. FPX said, fine, we'll back off. We'll scale a bit and you can take this Drake. In which case, two minutes later, FPX would take the Baron and push their gold lead to 8k. Um, Anyone's Legend did make a stand in that 2-1 to one in mid to stop them. However, it finally ended at 29 minutes. FPX had a 3-0 team fight win to then push and finally end the game. Uh, game two was a pretty much the same thing. Um, Anyone's Legend jumped out to an early lead by ganking mid and then being able to get priority over the Chemtech Drake. They did not want to get behind in Drakes like they had the previous game. FPX would respond by ganking top lane, and the team started trading kills back and forth, and it got, you know, a little chaotic for a minute or two there um fpx came out of that chaos getting a hextech drake anyone's legend then would chase down gory because gory was getting really big on the rise he was farming heavily similarly to how lwx and jahalu got ahead in game one gory got ahead in game two and was a big factor in this game 15 minutes it was only two to one i mean at 15 minutes anyone's legend won a team fight two to one which then got them the cloud drake um 20 minutes, they were up 5-3, to three, but FPX was up 3k gold. Zhao Hao was 2-0-3, the only real contributor on anyone's legend in this game. Um, he was all over the place in the early game. Um, so, after that, FPX would take a cloud. Um, anyone's legend would take the Baron, which didn't do anything for them. Because they had got a pickoff play, they took the advantage of that and tried to take Baron. But in the end, I mean, they got nothing out of it besides getting to Soul Point, which wasn't enough. Anyone's Legend was then were then um, down 5k gold to FPX by uh, 30 minutes. Similarly, how this game went, they were down in gold. They were getting out farmed and out played. I mean, FPX's players, excuse, sorry, were a little bit, were just better than Anyone Legends. Despite Anyone's Legend being able to create chaos and get kills, they were not able to end the game with that chaos and ensure to, to push FPX off of um, waves and lose XP and things like that. At 32 minutes, FPX would win a team fight 4-2 to two in mid to end the game. Jahalu had a triple kill. I mean, he showed up in both games, so he was the MVP. Because, um, I mean, the games were close. There wasn't a lot of action. I mean, the, this game had as many kills as just um, RNG had in game one. Same here. So, 
it wasn't a very, um, you know, very kill heavy LPL series like we're used to. Nevertheless, thank you for watching today's video. Come back tomorrow for um, another day of LPL coverage because they, I mean, obviously the LCK, I believe, doesn't play till Wednesday and then that will make this video slightly longer. Um, check my LPL power rankings, like I said when this video started, for my, um, I mean, my power rankings. Here I have Thunder Talk last, RNG sixth, Anyone's Legends 14th, and FPX third. Um, so this is probably going to change. These two teams are probably going to change because Anyone's Legends were competitive in this game, um, showing that they are probably better than 14th, where FPX, you know, hit a couple speed bumps, but now we're still 3-0, and they're young and could continue to be good. So thank you for watching. I'll take any criticism I can that's constructive. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.